For this week's Anime Wednesday, I wanted to talk about a show that if you listen to the Odebros podcast that I was on, you would hear me talk a little bit about. Considered it my favorite show I've watched in the last year, about. I think it's been... Yeah, it's been under a year since I watched this. I think it was like early January, maybe February that I saw it. That show is ReZero, Starting Life in Another World. Follows our main character, Subaru, which is kind of a funny name. He is not a car, he is a person. Um, and in the very first episode, the very first thing that happens is he's transported to a fantasy world. I actually watched the first maybe half of an episode and went, okay, this is just another one of those. He's transported somewhere. Suddenly he has all these amazing powers and he's going to be the hero of everything. And then I just kind of turned it off and didn't watch it after that. But luckily I came back to it because... While it starts off seeming like that's all that's going to be happening, it does develop into a much better story. It turns out he does not have super magical powers. He's not the greatest fighter ever just because he went back in time. Or not even back in time, it's to a different world. Because there's like weird lizards and crazy things going on, so it's not just like a medieval version of the world. There is some magic going on, some weird things. So there is all that fun stuff, but the show really isn't about that. I don't want to give away too much, but I guess the first episode kind of gives it away. So watch the first episode and you'll get the big twist of what this show dif- does different than other ones. Uh, one major thing about it is... I guess it wouldn't be a major thing. Is just a thing about it is t- it does get a little slow towards the middle I thought there's a part where he's just hanging out doing chores and it they take a couple episodes doing this it feels kind of boring like we're just hanging around a house talking doing nonsense but it does end up paying off in a big way if you're paying attention because really what they're trying to do is build up the idea that he's spending a lot of time with these characters even if the other characters don't see it in the same way we'll say that'll make more sense once you see the first episode and figure out what's going on there's a lot of crazy stories happening one after another it really doesn't slow down much other than that little part in the middle and it really picks up at the very end like the last seven or eight episodes are just insane everything that's going on there's giant battles giant twists all these things you wouldn't expect from this show that just appears to be another transported to fantasy world show first season has 25 episodes which is a little long i'm used to more like 12 13 is about average so it is a little longer to get through but it's definitely worth it if you don't mind Uh, The story doesn't wrap up in those 25 episodes either. There's still more to go, so that's a good thing, I would say. Some people may say there's no need to keep dragging it out, but I think there's still plenty they can do with the story. And I did read a little ahead, and the thing that happens directly after the final episode of the season is pretty insane. Uh, yeah, it seems kind of like cutesy, hanging out in the world, but there's some real serious things going on, and some not PG things, we'll say. It's very gruesome. Deaths happen that you're not expecting, and it really can catch you off guard, so if you can deal with, like, blood and guts and that kind of stuff... It's not too bad. It's not like overly done. It is done to further the story, which is important. It's not just gratuitous chopping people up for no reason. It's There is a reason it was my favorite show of the year. It's just a really good show. A lot going on. Really well told story that 
goes places you would have never imagined. So if you don't mind the 25 episodes, which is nothing, I mean, I've watched 800 episodes of Naruto. Wish I could get that time back, but it's gone, so no point dwelling on it. Yeah, it's 25, not too bad, it goes very fast, other than that little middle part, but just keep going. It'll all make sense eventually. So definitely check it out. Still, even after thinking through several times, I would say my favorite show I've watched this year.